Hello, my name is Thomas and I am developing a grand strategy game. Welcome to my devlog, devlog 2.5. Now you're probably wondering why devlog 2.5 and not devlog number 3. The reason is there is not much progress in this one. I'm sorry, but there are some great changes happening. A little spoiler, spoiler alert, uh, the changes are in the title. Anyways, if you remember from the last episode, uh, we had reached a point where we had uh, the region selector working and we also added some graphics by using the tile maps. Uh, but uh, from uh, my first episode where I showed you kind of my vision, my dream, how I wanted to look, um, a little reminder here, you can see that this is not what we currently have. It's, it's not even close. Um, and I'm sure that if I refine the tile map a bit and added a second layer, added trees, some rivers, mountains, and so on, it would look really beautiful in its own right, but it would be very stylized and it would still be a very different style from what I want. And so after thinking a bit, I have reached a conclusion and there is only one thing to do. Drum roll. Yes, we are adding a dimension. We are going from 2D to 3D. So we actually can have the mountains, have the terrain and get the look that I want in the game. So without further ado, let's uh, get to work and throw away the tile map and migrate the whole project from 2D to 3D space. So, wish me luck. Yes, um, the migration has been going very well so far. Uh, actually, it's been surprisingly easy. Um, Godot has its 3D counterpart for almost any 2D, 2D node. So it's very easy to find the correct one to use. And also, uh, even though there are some difference in functionality and some difference in properties, a lot of the functions uh, and methods are written in the same way. So it makes the whole the whole thing much easier than what I expected. Uh, one big problem that I countered is that there are no 3D counterpart or directly counterpart to Polygon 2D, which uh, the project have relied very heavily on. So after searching far and wide, I found out that I do actually have to create the um, to create a 3D mesh instead. So. Uh, I used something called uh, Surface Tool, which is a standard good, good functionality, uh, and created the uh, created meshes out of the polygon points. Uh, it's not directly straightforward, as you have to um, triangulate and draw triangle by triangle. Uh, I have created a tutorial on how to do this, so the link is in the description if you want to follow. Um, but yeah, now it works, so. Let me show you. Here you can see um, it doesn't look very fancy, uh, but the, these are the 3D meshes. I know it looks like 2D, but it is 3D, I promise. Uh, and you see that the functionality is now here. So you can see in the debugger that it correctly finds um, the region where my mouse is. So this can also be used for clicking functionality and uh, everything, so it's all we need to get going. Uh, I do get that this in itself seems a little underwhelming, but it opens up so many possibilities. So one moment and I'm going to show you something that I've been working on. So this is um, 
a prototype of a map that I have created. And what's really cool about this is that this is made entirely by shaders. So there are no sculpting or no imported meshes. This is entirely made by shaders. Um, I will explain in, uh, at a later point in more detail how this works. But the reason I want to show you this now is because now that we have transformed uh, the whole part into 3D, then we can implement um, shaders like this. So uh, if you see this um, map right here, um, the elevation is created by a height map and it's also in world space. So which means that if I now move this around, you see, I can move the mesh around, but the heights in the map are still there at a fixed location in the world position. So that means that I can actually take those meshes I made and apply the shader, and they will also get the shape and the height from the shader itself, which can give incredible detail to uh, very simple meshes. So we have a really we have a really exciting journey ahead of us now. So if you want to see how this goes and learn more about uh, uh, this shader and how to create a map, then like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.